How's everyone doing? Today I'll be doing a beer review for Best Damn Root Beer. And if you've had Best Damn Root Beer, definitely let me know what you think of it as well. And Best Damn Root Beer is actually a hard root beer by Anheuser-Busch. They're trying to get in on that trend of hard root beers lately. And again, it's got the labeling right there, hard root beer, Best Damn Root Beer. Contains alcohol right there, which I think is kind of funny. Uh, Best Damn Root Beer again, made you look. And then right here, you've got uh, the barrel right there with the foam on the front. And again, it says Best Damn, Best Damn Root Beer. And it's 5.5 alcohol by volume, 12 fluid ounces. And on the side, it says throwback, a throwback right there. And then on the other side right here, Best Damn Brewing Company, St. Louis, Missouri. Ale aged on vanilla beans with natural flavors and caramel color. And on the back, it's just again, Best Damn Root Beer. They put that everywhere, but that's one of the things I don't like about this is they don't have a lot of information like all the other hard root beers. And basically most of the beers that you get, they have like a synopsis or some kind of write-up hyping it up. And there's nothing like that here. There's only one thing right there on the neck that says to learn more about this delicious brew, check us out at bestdam.com. I think they went a bit overboard with the title, Best Damn Root Beer. You can count eight times on this bottle alone the words Best Damn on here. So I definitely think they dropped the ball marketing wise. They should have put more information on the sides, kind of hyping it up and things like that. It just kind of feels kind of generic, honestly. And again, the packaging, the, it comes in a six pack and it was just brown. It looked like recycled paper, which can be positive in that aspect, but nothing really, you know, coming out at you. Like uh, Not Your Father's Root Beer has great marketing design. And even the Coney Island Hard Root Beer had fantastic marketing and design for the packaging although the flavor was lacking there. But this one right here will hopefully be better than uh, the Coney Island uh, hard root beer. And it'll be kind of hard to top the Not Your Father's root beer, honestly, but I am looking forward to trying it out. And there's the bottle cap right there. Definitely a smart move on Anheuser-Busch's part by getting in on this hard root beer trend right now. Again, Anheuser-Busch, most notably known for Bud, but they have a huge line of beers and products, so Good for them. And then they, I think they also put out a Best Damn Apple Ale as well. But let's go ahead and try this Best Damn Root Beer. Let's see if it lives up to the name right there. I guess they decided to just forego the marketing and just have the name kind of carry it. The Best Damn Root Beer. Big words to live up to right there. Let's see how it holds up. Let's go ahead and pour it. I can already smell uh, the vanilla notes coming out of here. Very strong vanilla notes. Pours like a typical soda. A little smoky, fizzy, head dissipates quickly, no real lacing, a dark brown with some ruby hues in the light. All right, let's go ahead and smell it. Smells like a root beer. You get vanilla notes up front, uh, some cinnamon, some spices. Uh, you don't really smell any alcohol, but let's go ahead and taste it. Cheers. On the tongue, much like the nose, you get vanilla notes right up front. Vanilla bean, caramel, molasses, brown sugar, honey. And you get some spices to follow up right there with some nutmeg, clove, cinnamon. I will say the alcohol is masked perfectly here. You don't taste any alcohol at all. It kind of reminds me of a diet A&W root beer. It seems to be on the lighter side of the root beer aspect. It's more like an over-the-counter root beer that you'd get at the stores than a traditional root beer that was accented more with Not Your Father's root beer. It's light body, sticky mouth feel, semi-dry finish, fizzy but not quite as carbonated as your typical soda. It's sweet but not overpoweringly so. It's not syrupy, which I definitely appreciate because I'm not a fan of that in a lot of these hard root beers have that going on and that's not the case here. It has a milder sweetness than the typical hard root beers that have come out recently and I will say it has less body and it's less sweet than Not Your Father's root beer. Great mixture of flavors, silky smooth, goes down easy, very well balanced, high drinkability factor here. Now with all of these hard root beers, there's no real beer characteristic here flavor wise, no hop notes. There are some mild malt undertones, but overall it tastes like a root beer. And like I said, it's more on the lighter side of the root beer aspect, more like a diet root beer. I say don't compare it to other beers. It's in a category all on its own. And I think it succeeds in what it set out to do, and that's to create a great tasting adult root beer. Just appreciate it for what it is, yum-tastic, and an adult root beer done right. 
Now I will say I would have appreciated more body and a stronger alcohol content. It definitely is lighter than Not Your Father's Root Beer and some of the other hard root beers out there. But that's the biggest thing I'm thinking of in my head. Um, it just needs a little bit more strength to it. That being said, I think it has a high drinkability factor. I appreciate that it's not as sweet as the other hard root beers out there. If you like diet root beer, I think you'll love this. It's very well balanced, goes down very easy, and I think if you're not a fan of the taste of beer, you'll really appreciate it. And even if you do like beer, I still think you can enjoy this one right here. And again, if you like root beer, you should enjoy Best Damn Root Beer. I will say this is one of the better hard root beers on the market today. And overall, I give Best Damn Root Beer an 8.5 out of 10 stars. And if you've had Best Damn Root Beer, definitely let me know what you think of it as well. Leave me a comment or video response down below. Hope everyone's doing well. Take care.